goodness, there's something going on up ahead. Slow down, babe. Here comes some more emergency vehicles. All right, well, we are headed down to the Continental Breakfast this morning and hoping to find good news and that we'll be able to leave today. This is like day three of being stranded on the alien planet. All right, well, we just got news. Our neighbor knocked on the door and they said, the roads are open, so I-40 is officially open. We don't know what the conditions of the road are gonna be like. We're assuming it's gonna be, you know, not ideal, but we are excited. We're leaving Tucumcari, New Mexico. What happens in Tucumcari stays in Tucumcari. <laughs> Who wants to go? Me! Let's get out of here. All right, we are getting on the I-40. It has been closed for 36 hours. Am I going the right way? Yep, you are. Let's do this thing. All right, at this moment, I'm feeling really grateful for Jeremy's years of snow driving experience. Oh yeah, this is a drivable road. All right, here we are, I-40. So I just saw what looked like about 10 bears together? Like, Jeremy's totally doubting me, but they didn't look like cattle. They were just the roaming bears, you know, eating <laughs> in the plains. Don't bears hibernate? I just don't think it was yeah. a bunch of bears. I, Maybe it was. Well, it didn't look like cattle. Are cattle orange? Maybe it was bison. Maybe it was bison. We don't know what we saw. Maybe it was giraffes. Anyway, that's the latest update. Here we are. Passing semis when it's wet. You know, it's just the worst. It is. Passing semis in general. If it's really windy, if it's really rainy, if you're feeling really constipated. I mean, those are all times when it's really hard to pass a semi. I better put this camera away. <laughs> wow. All right, guys, we only have about 50 more miles of this, and then it's supposed to clear up. We're counting down. It's kind of nerve-wracking to drive in this kind of stuff, especially when you have precious cargo. Huh, precious cargo. Alabama, Alaska, Arizona, Arkansas, California, Colorado, Connecticut, Delaware, Florida, Georgia, Hawaii, Idaho, Illinois, Indiana. All right, well, Jeremy has declared that we are on a mission, and that mission is to make it to our families for dinner time tonight. So to do that, we calculated like the exact middle point of our trip so that we could gas up once, and we're just like snacking in the car, and so we're just gonna stop there and eat lunch, and so we're attempting with four kids and a nine hour drive to only stop one time. It's just luck. We just wanna get there. We feel like we've been stuck in one of those holiday movies where you can't get home for Christmas, and we just wanna get there. So we're playing a game where we're picking a memory during our last 11 years of marriage and then we have to try to guess. We're going back and forth. It's like 20 questions. It's been really fun. And by the way, today's our anniversary. We decided we would be super romantic and celebrate it by driving across the I-40 with our kids. It's working. <laughs> it's very romantic. <laughs> Turn it all around With a new attitude Everything can change Make it all you want it to be Alright, we are attempting the world's quickest traffic stop Is it nice to be out of the car, dude? Yeah. <laughs> that was scary. <laughs> Your hair goes crazy. We're running people through the bathroom while we wait for our food and hopefully we can just get there. We just wanna get there. Okay, so apparently Laura is stuck up in the play place, so it's my job to go and rescue her. Hey, the girl, you stuck? <laughs> because we're coming down. All right, let's go. Oh, are you all right, big girl? She's a little scared. She's a little nervous up there. Yeah. Do you want to come eat your food now? Yeah. Hey! The car is so filthy from traveling and all the snow and salt. Jeremy was really excited to get to a place where we could clean off the windshield and he could see better. Jesus. Here it is! Arizona! Arizona. Jeremy and I are having a sing-off. You guys ready? 
The kids are the judges. Pay attention, everybody. driving ahead and somebody flashed their headlights at us and so they were warning us to slow down and up at the top of the hill there was the fire and the accident and so we continue on and Jeremy's now trying to warn the people up ahead but he couldn't find our um what are they called our, he couldn't find our headlights and Look, so I normally drive a different vehicle I was like turning on the windshield wipers he's and... like warning them with our windshield wipers watch Hopefully out they caught the watch out something up ahead. So I'm just sitting here realizing how scary a car fire would be. Like I looked in the back seat and I'm like, man, just Jeremy and I getting out and unbuckling the kids from the car seats and getting us all out of the car. Oh my goodness, that's horrific. So when I was about 15 years old, we were driving down the exact place we're going right now on this same road and our van began to smoke and we pulled over and it was smoking and my stepdad went out front and there was actually flames in the engine of the car. And I remember the real fear was that there was gonna be an explosion. You know, just that fear that, yeah. you know, we were gonna die in a fire. And so we ran out. I remember them taking sand and dirt to try to put out the fire and the flames. And uh, anyway, we were all okay, but it was a really scary experience. We had to wait for someone to come and pick us up. Did you like jump out of the car and run away from it? I ran at least a half a mile <laughs> with my younger brothers and we knelt down and we prayed and it was actually really miraculous. Someone pulled over who had a cell phone, which Back was like a day. newfangled device that could call someone at that time. Not a lot of people had cell phones and it was, and they had a fire extinguisher as well. Whoa. Yeah. That is crazy. It was crazy. And so it was a good experience. Let's hope that doesn't happen to us. Knock on some wood. What do we have this wood in here? There's no wood in this thing. Caleb's asleep.
have to tell you guys, our kids are rock star travelers. They are doing a great job. Even Laura, like, I think we've only watched like one movie today. And they're just trucking. Like, they're just doing great. I'm really proud of them. I mean, there's still the meltdowns and difficult times, but I'm loving this drive. For me, when my parents got divorced, you know, a couple times each month we would drive this trip, and it's really nostalgic. Excited? Good night. Do yourself.